Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Bharat. If you're new to this channel, I'm the chef programmer who has been working with this fan company for more than two years, and I just have this YouTube channel like where I make a Flutter, Android, whatnot, all these programming language tutorials. In this video, I just wanted to talk about five important app ideas that I have, and I want to actually give back to the community because I cannot work on these five ideas at all times. So I just I'll give out these five ideas, no click bite. I'm just gonna just give these five ideas directly. And which maybe if you find informative or helpful, you can just work on these ideas. Let's get rolling with the first app idea. My first app idea is to make sure make use of this geofencing which the Android has. The geofencing is the capability of making sure that you can pinpoint a user's location with very very short proximity sensors, proximity ranges. For example, you can just pinpoint if the user is inside a circle. That you draw on the map or if he's outside the circle by use of the basic geofencing apk that is available with android so you can you make use of that and build an application out of it the one app idea that i had with the use case of that is to make sure of make use of this app which can tell you if you are inside a meeting room or not inside a meeting room so as soon as you enter a meeting room you can uh, you your phone goes into this do not disturb mode or whatever mode is actually applicable for your android phone and as soon as you do that, uh, you can just, if anybody tries to call you, it was going to automatically send out a message saying that you are inside a meeting and you can just control all of these things through this one app. And that is the first app idea that I have. The second app idea is to make use of the networking capabilities of these Android and iPhones in this today's generation and created this super cool anonymous chat application. We have anonymous video call applications that are available in the market but there aren't any anonymous chat applications that can make sure that the user's data is privately kept and a lot of importance on the user's privacy and you can create this anonymous chat application which will help the user in talking from one person to another without revealing any form of data as this is a male or a female or anything of that sort it's not going to be like you can still chat with the person but not the direct text but in the form of emojis or in the form of pre-written text and it's going to be fun it's going to be a fun app that is going to definitely bomb if it's if it's marketed properly why am i telling this idea because i had this idea like around a year ago and i started working on it but i didn't have the proper resources to build a very strong server with that could actually hold, run this algorithm in the background to make sure that the data is privately secured without any any form of leak i couldn't do that so i scrapped the idea back then but i just had this idea in the top five ideas because i hope somebody out there can do that and if it benefits the community, why not? The third app idea that I had in mind was to integrate something with the hardware that is out there. A lot of change, a lot of things that are actually bombing right now is the use of the smart appliances in, the, in your home. The home automation is taking a huge boom in 2019. Not just in 2019, it's definitely going to boom in 2020 as well. So what if there is a dependency on a hardware? See, for example, there's already smart bulbs, smart plugs. But what if we can create an app application that can control your whole home with just one simple app? You can write routines for that. For example, say you are entering a home and you are automatically using this proximity sensors or whatever it is that is available in your home. It automatically turns on something and it automatically sends out a message saying that you are home. If you want to order food, you can order as you enter home. All of that can happen and this application can do it for you without even a press of a button. And that's what is very helpful in 2019 and definitely in the coming years, it's just going to definitely form. Jumping to the fourth super cool idea that I have, which is actually definitely possible, is to create an application that is going to leverage the delivery system, which is meaning that, for example, a food delivery is actually definitely bombing in 2019. And food delivery is definitely going to bomb for the next 10, 15 years. Because the people going to restaurants are definitely going to stop and delivery meaning that food comes to your home is going to be the pitch of the century. So when you're doing that, how about you deliver something not from a restaurant to a home or a shop to a home, rather from home to home. Say for example, there are these postal services or there are these delivery networks wherein you have to send something if you want to send through a courier. What if you can do that in say an intercity way of communication? In the city way of delivery systems where you want to say send something from your home and to somebody else's home which is actually 30 kilometers away if you're going to send that through a courier or you, you're not able to go and deliver it in person come back you can use make use of this application which is going to do this home to home delivery rather than restaurant to home or shop to home kind of delivery 
and in this just this delivery system you can take anybody who, who wants to who wants to deliver and they can earn money out of that so for example you're delivering from you're going from a place a to place b and you can just log into this application and say that i would i would accept to deliver this from a to b and when you deliver this thing from a to b you are paid some x amount of money by the user and that is going to be a delivery charge and um, it's definitely possible to create an application like that and that is why i'm just giving it out as my fourth important project idea for 2019. number five number five is actually very very important in terms of handling money money is going to be everywhere not just to 2019 but it's going to be there even 10 15 20 100 years later as well so when money is going to be there there's obviously going to be taxes that are going to be uh, coupled along with that as well so when you have taxes that are going to be computed by this end of the year why not compute this tax in a day-to-day -day basis meaning that you have your expenditures you have your income why not compute the tax in a form of a robust system that can do it automatically for you you have an next income coming in you compute the tax and tell this is going to be a tax but you can reduce this tax if you can smartly invest here or you can reduce this tax if you can smartly spend your money here and that can be done through very complex system I wouldn't say complex, maybe a medium level system of data analysis around the data that is coming in. So when you can do that, you can build this super cool tax income with an AI module in the background. And the user is definitely not going to see all the AI things coming in. Users are going to just give a numbers and suggestions. But these suggestions are not just going to be about uh, fixed suggestions, but rather an AI based suggestion. This artificial intelligence based suggestion is going to be very, very helpful in deciding how much amount you can save post your taxes and that is going to be it's definitely a good good type of application that can definitely bomb in 2019 not just in 2019 even five ten years from now on it's definitely going to bomb all right so those are my five top app ideas for 2019 i hope this video is informative if you find this video informative you know what to do smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel my channel i just do a lot of programming videos and and you can definitely gain some knowledge from this. That's it from me. Let me meet you in the next video. Until then, Bharat. Peace out. Have a great day.